All right, so here we are. So, uh, so this is the new exercise for this uh, for today. What we did was we um, <clears throat> we spent a lot of time on uh, studying sixteenth notes, which is the one. Uh, I'm sorry, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four. It goes real fast. So what we did last week was we took a look at a strum pattern using uh, two quarter notes and two eighth notes. So it goes one two three and four and. Okay, so that's down, 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 up, down, up. Now when you add sixteenth notes into the mix, it's gonna go uh, once again one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a or ba 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 whatever you want to do. We also took a look at um, adding words to it like the uh, uh, the breakfast rudiments. <laughs> that's what I like to call them. So that's egg and bacon, egg and bacon, egg and bacon, egg and bacon, ba 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 so on and so forth. So it's going to be 16th notes. That goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You can get really fast with it once you get real smooth with it. Notice my wrist. Okay. Now, um, we took a look at a new strum pattern, and that's, uh, that's going to be mixing them all together. So that's going to go one, Two, and then you have an eighth note, which is down, up. So right on, right on beat, it's going to go one, two, three, and four, and. Then the fourth beat, it's going to go four, E, and, uh. So it's going to be two quarter notes, an eighth note, and a sixteenth note. It's kind of a lot, but it's, it's meant to be challenging to get, you, uh, to get your wrist to kind of uh, get in shape with all this kind of stuff. So it's going to go one, two, three, and four. Again, slow it down. It's gonna go. Now, whenever you start adding chords to this, which is what I want you to try and do, you know, take an old song and you know, try and add this strum pattern to it. One thing I don't want you to do is I don't want you to be afraid of the volume. Okay, that that took me a long time to get over that, but just kind of embrace it. You know, be aggressive with your strumming. That's okay. That gets people into it. You know, so take an E major, and I'm going to go to a D major after that. Hopefully it'll sound all right. Now. Yeah, why not? So it goes. trick to that that I want to go ahead and show you next week. I'm just trying to switch while I'm strumming. So, you know, just, just in the meantime, try and get used to that. The next thing we did was we took a look at our, uh, our natural minor, minor scale and figured out how to morph that into a natural major scale. Happy, sad. So sad is going to be the minor scale, starting here on the, on the fifth root. Those last two notes are kind of extra. If you wanted to stop it at the minor, you can stop it at the fifth. Just trying to find out that next next root in the minor scale. Now, speaking of roots, what we do is we changed up the root to C major because this is the same as that. That's just another way to play C. Okay, now what we did to make it a C major was we used our pinky there and then played the same exact scale minus that. We just go ahead and start right here. So now it sounds nice and nice and happy, nice and pretty. So that's the C major scale. You can drop it anywhere to make it an A major scale. explain what I just did there in a second so uh well next week actually but um but try and uh try and try and work in this little motion over here with my right hand that's called alternate picking okay you're going to go down up 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 down okay work on that 
and in the meantime, try and do it on the pentatonic scale. It's a little bit easier to do it there. So I'm going to do A, um, A minor pentatonic. It's going to go down, up, down. great scale because you only have two notes so you can work on alternating yeah. okay so <laughs> so that is going to be your your project for this week so you got your uh, you got your new scale working backwards you got your new strum you got 16th notes and the variation that follows and um, also I don't think I gave you that the new variation is just just quickly. It's a um, it's the same exact thing as the sixteenth note minus the E part. One E and a. You're just dropping out the E. One and a two and a three and a four and a. It's actually just like the um, the eighth note, but it's faster. The quarter note and eighth note. One and a two and a three. And If you ever want to play that song Ghost Rider, you're going to have to know that, that strum pattern. <laughs> All right, so have a good one. Let me know if you have any questions.